Ooh. Hello, my lovely Trails fans. Welcome back to our next episode, and probably the last episode of Trails in the Sky. Oh, I'm going to be introducing these series completely different going forward. This is the last episode of the Trails series, well, the Trails in the Sky series, the first three games. Ooh, exciting. Like I said, I promised you this was going to be the final episode. No matter how long it's going to be, we're going to do these bosses, we're going to watch the cutscene. There's not going to be any more cuts unless I have to redo a fight. Because uh, I'm not going to show you all the failed attempts. So, let's let's go in. Ooh, this is nerve-wracking. Okay, let's go. Let's bring this trilogy to an end. Dang, this door's huge. Hmm, then there must be something significant on the other side too. I think we've reached our destination. Yeah, I can sense Rufina on the other side. What should we do, Kevin? Can't thank you two enough for sticking with me up until the very end. What I'd like to do instead is ask for your help one more time. We'll be up against the Lord of Phantasma, the being capable of changing and reconstructing this entire world according to their whims. This fight is going to be nasty, and the only way we'll even stand a chance is if we give it all we've got, together. Leave it to me. Then may the curtain on the final act rise. Thanks. Alright. Let's go. Right. I would like to have Estelle and Joshua here with these two, but I need the firepower that these guys bring. <laughs> Welcome. I'm impressed you were able to make it all this way to me. Rufina. Darn right we did. For the record, I saw all that happened down in Gehenna from here. I wasn't expecting you to have the will to resist Wiseman's proposal. I'll be honest, if Reese hadn't been with me, he might have swayed me. So don't give me too much credit, I'm still the same cowardly loser I always was. People don't change their ways that easily. Don't say that. You look surprisingly relaxed for someone talking about how hopeless they are. If you have so little confidence in yourself, you might be in for some trouble. Remember, Kevin, if you can't defeat me, Phantasma isn't going anywhere. You do understand that, right? Yeah, I know. Worse still, it will probably start affecting the real world soon. Right now, its effects are limited to Phantasma's own borders, but that might not stay that way forever, right? What? You're kidding. Well, well, you noticed. Phantasma has been taking in people's desires for thousands of years now, and it's starting to hit the limits of its own capacity. In order to release some of the pressure that's been building up within, it's likely it will start to erode away the real world. Thought so. It won't be something that happens overnight. But slowly, its influence will start to extend across the land, blurring the line between this world and yours. Until eventually, the real world will be filled with devils and ghosts like this one. No, no way. Oh my, that doesn't sound good. I would ask that you do not despair at the thought. The real world could be easily influenced by people's wishes and desires. If all the world's population genuinely wished for a better, more peaceful world, maybe it would actually happen. Perhaps being taken over by Phantasma may even be in the real world's best interests. <laughs> screw that. There's no way that's true. Is that so? No one who knows the first thing about life before the Oriole could believe it would be that simple. The people back in those days were able to make their desires reality using it and all it did was lead people down a path toward ruin and force them to lock it away in order to ensure humanity's future. 
Letting Phantasma take over the continent would no doubt be a repeat of the same thing. I know you don't believe for a second that's how people should live, Rufina. Even after becoming a knight, you never relied on force to solve problems. You were always thinking, always trying to find the best solution. When I was ready to give up on life and wallow in my own despair, you were the one who made me face reality. It was because you knew that life doesn't always go the way people want it to that you were strong enough to do that for me. You knew that the only way to make the world a better place was for people to be strong together and make it that way. Am I wrong? It took me falling down to Gehenna with Reese for me to finally realise that, but I did. I realised all over again just how pitiful a man I used to be. I never stopped to think what your final thoughts must have been when you gave your life to save me. I never stopped to think whether I could have done something for Mum instead of running away from her. I just acted like a spoiled brat trying to find a way to be punished because I thought by doing that, maybe I could finally be forgiven. It's taken me a long time to see that, but here I am. Kevin. You know what though? I'm fine with how long it took. I'm a long ways off from being able to compare to you, but at least I know what direction I should be walking now. Maybe if I start walking today, one day, I'll actually be able to reach the place where you used to stand. So that's why I feel like I can finally start accepting myself for how I am. <laughs> well said, my man. <laughs> well said. Looks like my attempts to punish you ended up having quite an unintended result. Mind you, Kevin, I wouldn't put me on a pedestal if I were you. The world we stand in is one affected by the will of those within. If you're convinced that you are inferior to me, how do you expect to defeat me? That's true. Well, you're right. Or you would be if you weren't just a copy of her. What? She is? The game's up. I know exactly what you are now. You're this world's core, the reason it can operate autonomously. But you're not Rufina. You're the copy of my stigma that was made here half a year ago. How? How did you work that out? There it is. Kevin's stigma! Maybe I can't match up to Rufina, but I'm not fighting her. I'm fighting you. I'm not gonna lose to my own stigma, and I'm gonna set her free from you. So get ready for one hell of a beatdown. <laughs> Go ahead and try, Kevin Graham. By devouring you, my original, I will be able to become fully complete. As we speak, my minions are extending a warm welcome to your friends. Should a single group of them fail, the future will be closed forever. The very beings shall be devoured by this land, drawn upon as sustenance. My name is Anima. I am this world's center, its core, its very essence. Huh. Seems we have no choice but to fight. If those are the rules of this game, we'll be happy to play by them. So I can finally take that first true step towards accepting myself. And so all of us can be reunited again, so we return safely to our world. We are going to defeat you. Ooh. 
Prototype Potamata. Starts off by punching Joshua rightly square in the face. Cause you know, that's fair. Alright, first things first. Okay, that's a medium. We need to get rid of these angels. Let's cure Joshua though. Perfect. And they all go down. Okay. We do have her set up as attack. Shara, let's go ahead and... I don't think I need to cure her of blind, because we have her set as... Should be casting support. Do I give you... Zodiac? Yes, I did. You should have healing. There we go. Go ahead and use your Phantom Raid ability again. Oh, I guess I should have waited. Didn't realise it was going to summon more allies. Um... One down. I don't know what use that one item is going to be for me. Ugh, Drigion. <laughs> yeah, I'd much prefer if uh, all these guys did not get a turn.
Go on, part of matter. Show them who the real Gordius class is. Let's take these angels down. Let's get the bobcat involved. There is her brothers. This is the first time we've actually looked at- whoa! Big bomb. Oh, that was fun. Right. Let's get you punching. So who has the walls? Well, it ain't you. Um, so what do we use you for? Do I ha Did I set you up as just a healer? Most likely. Let's do a speed up on Ren. Because you're already pretty pretty fast. Yeah, let's get these walls up first. Let's not have time. Strength and defense up. Okay, that could work. We will go ahead and... What are you weak against? Time. Start casting some time magic. Come on Zin, you can survive this. It's just one small genocide. Look at that. Zin's the real MVP. If you're gonna call allies, I'm just gonna have to death scream everybody. I love how fast she can cast. It's really cool. Okay, you're actually weak against dark matter. Alright, that's two down. Ooh. It's a dry again. Um, I can't actually remember if any of them attack multiple. As clouds fall, 
Is she gonna miss if I use her ability? I guess we're just gonna find out. So we're about to find out. Nope, managed to take them both down. I'm fine with this. Perfect. Ah, shoot, I had it set as the healing move. I think it gives them the defense, though. Oh, it does. Okay, so we have you set up as a ha ba 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 art stealer. Did I set you up with an attack all, though? I don't think I did. This should be fine. I'm just not going to be able to cast that for a while. Okay, should be good if I cast it there. You're set up as a healer. These guys are all basically casters. What are you weak against? Nothing. Except for you, you are definitely going to be a physical attacker. You are going to be in your orbital gear. Right. now to start chipping this guy down. Move her closer to the combat. So when I do heal, hopefully I can catch more people in the uh, in the wake of the heal. Well, that was rather unfortunate. Do like the fact, though, that I couldn't really push her back that far. <laughs> Gonna slowly chip him down.
Oh, come on. Seriously? That's something a bit wider, right? No. Well, that's unfortunate. There we go. I'll just take that down. Easy. Well, this, this last fight is going to be the real tough one. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put the knight armor on him. He would uh, be spending like three turns getting to him. By the time he got there, he would be blown back again. Oh yeah, Estelle. No, sorry, Titer. MVP Titer. This is it. The real fight. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and save just before this. Ooh. The angel powered by the stigma. Okay, attempt number two. That first attempt did not go very well. Um, unfortunately, it gets to the point where he summons these creatures which just kind of automatically vanish you. And that's incredibly annoying. Okay. Um, who have I got right now? Kevin. Okay. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. What do we want you to do? Yeah, I think earth walling is probably one of the most important things right now. You can just preemptively cast some spells, I guess. Uh, you can use your dragon dive. Get a little bit of damage started. And you, let's do Zodiac. Okay, so this is the first phase. We need to take down each of these pillars. They're all weak against one element. And we are gonna start speeding ourselves up as the very first thing that we're gonna do. I believe that move is probably like an insta-kill move. So that's why we want to uh, make sure that we are well shielded. Right, that's one down. Everyone is sped up. Alright, where's the wind one? There is the wind one. Yeah. 
Wind, wind, wind. Where are my wind spells? Another one down. What are you? Heaven, so that's gonna be space. That's an expensive one, so let's focus on time. Where are you, Mr. Time? Oh, we've already taken time down. Okay, let's, uh, where's my ascension? There we go. Ascension. Okay, we'll focus first on earth walling everybody. Still have the ascension one up. Let's finish that off. And another one down. Okay, what are you? You're blue. Let's have you guys focus on that one. Have you put up another wall? finished. Alrighty, now we focus on bringing this thing down. I'm going to be uh, keeping my craft points to myself because I need to quickly get rid of any of the fiends that it summons. So those things are incredibly dangerous. Um... Can't hit them both with his. Um. Just want to make sure that they're taken down before they become an issue. What are the weak? Okay, so they are weak against that. Okay, good. Taken down.
but slow and steady wins the race here. Oop, forgot I did not have her shielded. Let's get that shield over there, and then you can go ahead and use Curia. Otherwise, she's going to be knocked out for a little while. And we do not want that. It also has a nasty move which eliminates my stat boosts, which I do not really want him to be doing. It's kind of lame. But nothing I can really do about that to stop him. Fast casting spells. Okay, is he time element now? Okay, yeah, he's weak against time. This is where I kind of have to switch the game up a little bit. Okay, um, I need to... So Olivier seems to be the best right now for eliminating those modified Grim or modified mutant, whatever they're called, Grimoires pretty quick. Um, because he can cast real fast. But I'm going to keep those crafts open just in case, because you never know. Now, oh, why did I do that? He's weak against time. He's getting ready for a real big spell. So uh, throw a quick heal at Reese real fast. Sorry, there's not a lot of commentary in this fight, but I'm kind of like in super concentration mode. Oh, here comes his big attack. The one that shatters the world.
I don't even know if this has more than one phase. Because, like, we had to fight three bosses before we could fight this guy, but I have no idea if this guy has more than one phase. And this is how long it's taken us to get through one phase. And he's destroyed the battlefield. Okay. Um, okay, I guess we just continue on to the offensive. I want to move everyone kind of closer if I can, just because then it's easier to cast wall on everybody when they're all in the same place. Oh, a new element. Alright, what's going to be the best way to do this? So it's weak against uh, dark matter spells now, basically. Um, still not close enough. Okay, so I'm going to have to be careful with this. I might be able to take them down with... Let's see how this goes. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to do Lacuria with you. Get ready with that spell. Okay. We should be fast enough to shield everybody. Perfect. Perfect. Now everyone's close enough for healing as well. Okay, awesome. Um, so he's finally done his attack that removes everyone's buffs. So now let's go ahead and get everyone shielded up again. Get Zodiac cast for our buffs, and then I'll start speeding everybody up again. Is that it? Did Reese do it? Was that the last phase? Well, I mean, it was the only phase, but... It's gonna happen. Ooh, I mean, to be fair, that was not an easy fight.
Oh? Its color changed. How did we get here? This is where we fought the Schwarzritter. This is a place I made with his input for saying farewell. <laughs> I'm glad it ended up proving to be useful. Oh? R Rufina? Back in your old night getup, huh? You're finally free of the Stigma's influence, then. I owe that to you, too, and your friends. You deserve a lot of praise for overcoming so much on your way here. You knew what you were up against. You could have given up at any time, but you never did. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Rufina. <laughs> you really are just like I remember. So, is the Stigma completely gone? I'm afraid not. It still exists inside of me. Your victory earlier has allowed me to suppress it in there for the time being. But I won't be able to do so indefinitely. It'll recover its power long before long if it isn't completely destroyed. Oh. But, but how do we... I'm afraid someone's going to have to destroy it. I want that someone to be you, Kevin. Hey. You can't mean you'll have him kill you. That's right. By killing me, the copy of your stigma will be destroyed as well. That's the only way to get rid of it for good and bring all of this to an end. Doing so should restore Celeste's power. After that, I believe she should be able to return all of you safely to the real world. But, but, but... Let me just make sure. There's no other option, is there? None. This is truly the only way. Last time you had to do this, you were barely aware of what you were doing. This time, you won't have such a luxury. How could you ask that of him? How could you make him do that again, knowing how much he suffered the first time? And if he does that, you'll... You'll... I'm sorry, Reese, But this is the reality, and I need to be the one to tell him. I'll say it once more, Kevin. Kill me and go back to the real world with your friends. As your sister, as a fellow knight, and as a mother. This is the last thing I'll ever ask you to do. Wait, wait. Mother? <laughs> it's amazing how someone can be so kind and yet so cruel at the same time. But that's how you've always been, I guess. No, Kevin! Sorry, Reese. I'm gonna have to take your sister from you not once, but twice. If that's what you've got to do, then I'm doing it with you. What? Reese? I, I don't want to be left behind by you two anymore. I don't want to just stand aside and watch anymore. I've had enough of just waiting. So if this is something that has to be done, then I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to carry your sin with you this time. Thanks, Reese. <laughs> It's hard to believe you're the same little glutton from five years ago. You've grown so much while I've been away. You ended up studying under Ayn too, right? I apparently have plenty to thank her for. R Rufina, please. Well, if you're sure that's what you want to do, I have no objections. I'll leave the decision to you, Kevin. How can you be okay with this? I should be the one shouldering the burden. Me and me alone. Why should Reese? You're a grown man, Kevin. Start acting like one, damn it. It's probably what I would say in this situation where she with us. She's not, though. So I want you to go with your heart. <laughs> You've always had a way with shaking a guy up. Come here, Reese. You can hold my bowgun with me. Okay. Oh, 
I never considered that. Apparently, I was even further from my goal than I thought I was. Sorry? What do you mean? Listen, Kevin. You said earlier that you wanted to try and follow in my footsteps, right? Y yeah It's not going to be easy, but it's what I want to do. Well, if that's generally what you've set your mind on, I can't stop you. But I can't say that I recommend it. The path I walked was one fraught with pain, doubts, and worries. I knew in my heart that there was no way it was possible to make a world where everyone could be happy. Nevertheless, I dedicated my life to trying to get as close as I could to that impossible goal, even if it wasn't easy. Bring it on, I say. I feel the same way. I want to follow in your footsteps too. <laughs> I've never seen two people look more sure of themselves. And if that's what you want, if that's really, really what you want, don't content yourselves with trying to go as far as I did. Go further than me. Try and reach the places beyond my grasp. Realize the future I never could. Because I get the feeling the two of you may actually be able to do it. You do? <laughs> Dang, it's a doozy of a task you're throwing on us at the last minute. But hey, I won't say no. Making it sound so hard just makes me want to pull it off all the more. I promise I will. Just don't try to walk too fast and end up getting tired before the finish line. Anyway, I think we've kept your friends waiting for long enough. Kevin, Reese, I think it's about time you pulled that trigger. Yeah. Right. It's okay, Reese. I'm right here with you. Let's just take this slowly. That's right. Easy does it. <laughs> May Adios always watch over you both. Take care of her for me, Kevin. I will. Always. Thanks for everything. Really. R Rufina, I... I... Would you take good care of Kevin, Reese? Stay close, okay? R Rufina... We will. Forever, so... Bye, Rufina. Huh? <laughs> it's okay, Reese. I'm sure we can do it. I'm sure we can realize her dream and reach the place she was always trying to get to. And I'm guessing that when we do, we'll find her there waiting for us. So this isn't the end. We'll see her again. We will. <laughs> Kevin! Reese! Please, wake up! Uh, uh. Huh? Where are we? You gave us quite the surprise when you fainted after the battle ended. Were you enjoying a romantic getaway in a different land of dreams, perchance? We fainted? But, but... I imagine she summoned your spirits to an area of her creation, leaving your bodies behind. There you are. Celeste? I felt the return of all of my power a short while ago. Did something happen, Kevin? Oh. Actually, Kevin explained to her that they had said farewell to Rufina and that the stigma that once ruled the land of Phantasma had completely disappeared. I see. She must have been an incredibly strong person. I may have never had the chance to meet her. 
but she sounds like someone I would have liked to talk to. That being said, there's no longer any time to waste. Huh? Why not? Now that Phantasma has once again lost its master, it will revert to being unstable once more. This castle will be no exception, I imagine it will disappear before long, unable to retain its current form any longer. The same will likely be true of all the planes even, only the garden will remain. Y you're kidding! Are you really so surprised, Estelle? We know about how this world works, this was always a likely possibility. It, it sure wasn't one I was thinking about. Besides, if you knew all of this already, why is it the first time we're hearing about it? We should hurry to the Arcel and make our escape at once. There's no need. I can open the gates of heaven from here. You can? As in the ones in the testaments? I believe so. To my recollection, they are the counterpart to the gates of Gehenna, connecting the world in which you reside to heaven above. A replica was prepared for us in the area we stand. I can only assume the one who created them was the woman who you bade farewell to, the one who was assimilated into the Lord of Phantasma. <laughs> she did. Hmm, I see. Then if we pass through there, we can return to our own world. Precisely. Though perhaps, seeing as believing, allow me to open the gates. Wow. If we walk through here, we can go home. I imagine you'll appear somewhere near wherever it was you were when you first were drawn in here. Those who were on airships will likely reappear somewhere inside them. Okay. I guess this is it. Indeed. W what Already? We've been in here so long together. My brain's having trouble processing that it's actually about to end. I was hoping we would have time for one final feast before we went our separate ways. But I suppose there are a few partings in this world that would allow us the good fortune. <laughs> You're probably right. Well then, allow us to be the first to take the plunge. Why? At this rate, we're going to be here forever because no one wants to be the first to say bye and leave everyone behind. What Zin said, so has the eldest members of the group. We thought we should be the ones to take the initiative, so to speak. Oh. Thanks. You guys are alright, you know? <laughs> Think nothing of it. This is nothing compared to the kindness you've shown by welcoming me into your numbers despite my past transgressions. Because of you, I was able to achieve something truly important. You have my deepest thanks. You're very welcome. Just know that you have ours too. I don't know what we would have done without you. We may have to part for now, but I imagine your work will bring us together again in the future. I can't wait to see you again. I'm honoured you would say so, Your Highness. Should you ever require my services, please don't hesitate to call on me. As for me, well, it was great getting to see you all again. Didn't ever picture us having a reunion like this, but I'm sure glad it happened. <laughs> you got that right. I still wouldn't have turned down a few more rounds of duking it out with you. Same here. Next time I get some free time, I'll have to pop over to La Burl and rough you up a bit. Or, you know, you're all welcome to swing by Calvert if you want. Killoker and I would welcome you with open arms. You bet. Count on it. Really? Then I'll start making preparations for my visit as soon as I leave here. You're not doing anything until you finish the mountain of homework that's waiting for you. <laughs> I'm sure me and Reese will eventually make our way there once the work comes knocking on our door. 
I hope that day comes soon. <laughs> same here. Well, I think that's about everything. Let's get going, Colonel. Honestly, now even you've started calling me that. Although I suppose being referred to in that way by all that you may not be so bad. <laughs> Perhaps we should be the next to leave then. You? I feel as though the longer I stay, the less I'll want to leave at all. It would be best for me to get this done and over with. So this is farewell for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. I was honestly expecting you to hang on longer. I'm surprised. Oh Joshua, you twist my arm. But the pain only leaves me weak with pleasure. I crave whisking you up as my prince and taking you back with me. Over my dead body, creep. Oh, I don't think I'll ever be able to believe this guy is actually royalty. Olivier. <laughs> oh, truth be told, I honestly never thought I'd be blessed with an opportunity like this. The thought of it coming to an end is making me uncharacteristically emotional. Aww. <laughs> it's certainly a new side to you. Before I go, however, I do want to give you some serious thought to what I said, Shara. While I do realise it was brazen of me to ask, you wouldn't deny me the joy of believing you may one day say yes, would you? I swear, you are unbelievable! Alright, I will. You'll have my answer someday. In the meantime, you better work hard at what you need to do. <laughs> but of course! Uh, uh, um, what's this all about? I think we're missing something pretty big. Yeah, something interesting happened right under our noses, didn't it? For my part, I would like to thank you all for you, what you have done for me and this one here. I feel as though this experience has allowed me to improve my swordsmanship all the more. I am truly grateful. <laughs> I'll have to make sure I don't let you get too far ahead of me or I'm gonna have a heck of a time catching up again. Same goes for you as well, of course. I do hope we will have the opportunity to meet again one day. As do I. One last warning. I fear the Empire has some truly stormy times ahead of it. I would advise against all non-essential travel there. That's concerning. Please be careful then, Major. As long as this idiot pulls his weight, we should be able to avoid the worst case scenario. If you'd all pray Adios doesn't give up on him, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> sure thing, praying is kind of what we church folk do. I can't think of a simpler and more enjoyable request. How tragic it is that you all trust me so little. But they do say that people bully those they love the most. You're no exception to that, are you, love? Am I to take that as confirmation that you would like to be dragged out of here by the scruff of your neck? I'd rather walk, please. Well then, everyone, until our next meeting. <laughs> he managed to keep pretending he was fine until the very end. You two are next, then. Yeah, this is it. Most of the people here I could go and see if I set my mind to it. But as for you two, Estelle and Joshua, take care on that journey of yours, okay? No problem. We'll be sure to keep writing to you as often as we can. <laughs> There's no need to send too many of them. It won't be easy for my replies to reach you. Plus, there seems to be a lot of maintenance work going on with the Orbal Communications Network lately. If you really need me, just get in touch with the Gransel branch. Okay. We will. You can always get in touch with us if you need to in the same way. Uh, it's going to suck not to be able to see you again for a while though, Estelle. But it's going to especially suck not to be able to see Ren or Taita. And you, Reese. M me Duh, I was really happy to get to know you, you know. So if you ever come to LaBelle again for work or whatever, come see me, okay? I'll give you the scoop on all my favourite ice cream spots. I'd be happy to accept that invitation. 
coming to Labelle is now my top priority after leaving here. Let's not forget about work now. <laughs> At least you'll be easy enough to see again, Titer. I should be able to pop over and mess with you anytime you scary boy toys are not hovering over you. Uh, um, don't you even think about it, kiddo. <laughs> How serious I am is for me to know. Okay, just one more thing before I go. Say, Ren, do you like Estelle and Joshua or don't you? What? That's what matters the most. I want you to keep that question in mind as a favour for your big sis, Annalise. What? what do you mean, Annalise? Oh, and expect a bajillion hugs next time I see you. I'm not going to let you get away. <laughs> Alright, I think we've hung around long enough. See you later. Take care, Shara. Thank you both for sticking with us. Okay, guess we might as well be the next ones to step up. Y yeah This is it, huh? Time to say farewell. <laughs> I'll miss you both so much. You too, Ren. You mean it, Titer? I can't say anything thought-provoking like Annalise, and I don't have the power to chase after you like Estelle and Joshua, but I'll always be waiting. I'll always be waiting for the day you three come back to Labelle together. It's okay to hope for that, right? Huh. <laughs> but please, you can do what you like. As long as it's not getting sloppy with finishing your orbal gear, you better finish that. Padamana welcomes all challenges. Okay, I will. <laughs> I swear, kids sure are violent these days. Like Shara said, you guys take care, yeah? Especially you, Estelle. You ain't a rookie now, so make sure you start looking before you leap. I know, I know. You just try not to fight with Titus' mum every other second, okay? H hey, I'm not the one picking fights. She's the one who's always trying to make my life hell. I'm already dreading going back and getting blamed for Titus ending up here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she'll find some way to pin all of this on you. You're only laughing because you ain't got to be on the receiving end of it. Oh, and one last thing. I've got something to say to you. Me? first time I met you, I thought you were some sketchy weirdo, but you showed some real guts this time. Good on you. Huh? I say something funny? N no, I, I just never thought the day would come when you'd praise me, like, at all. What brought that on? Uh, no real reason. Just my way of saying let's keep on trucking, I guess. Well, thanks then. <laughs> Uh, why do conversations like these between two guys always end up so awkward? Aw, oh, cram it. Anyway, you ready, Titer? Yep. I think that marks our turn, Julia. As you wish. Chloe, I guess this is goodbye for now. I'm afraid so. This was an opportunity that I never expected to be blessed with. I owe Adios my deepest thanks for being able to see you two again. Us too. I'll keep writing to you, Chloe. Count on it. I won't get my hopes up the next letter will be any time soon. Oh, Gisette? Um, uh, what's up? I really enjoyed spending time with you. I'd love to have the opportunity to hang out again one day. Uh, um... Sure, we'll make it happen. We have a few hobbies in common, so I bet we could talk for hours and hours. Work will mean I have to go to Grandsel a lot anyway, so I'm sure we'll get the chance. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it. Ah... If you're feeling jealous, you've got, like, nothing in common with her. Maybe you should try taking up baking and handcrafts. Can't wait to see the efforts of someone with all the creativity and dexterity of a drunk pom. I wish I could disagree, but you totally got me. It's okay, Estelle. No one's good at everything. 
Um, please, don't feel obliged to say anything to me. I'm not your ancestor, but merely a sentient replica of her. Even so, I still wish you could have had the opportunity to meet with my grandmother. I'm nowhere near as capable or intelligent as she is, and after meeting only me, I can only imagine you must be so disappointed. <laughs> it's almost eerie how much you remind me of myself in that regard. I do? How? I imagine your grandmother must feel the same way. There's nothing to be ashamed of if you don't know which way you should go sometimes. Just follow your heart, and it will never betray you. One day, you'll be able to spread your wings wide and fly. I'm sure of it. I certainly hope so. Thank you for your words of encouragement. <laughs> well, I suppose we should be going. Oh, before we do, after we return, Kevin, I imagine things will be more than a little chaotic. So should we require the church's help again, I expect you to be there for us. Sure thing. I'll be getting in touch with the congregation for the sacraments after I get out of here to decide what to do next. <laughs> well then, everyone, take care of yourselves. Well, I'm up. I'm glad we had this time together, Gisette. Um, I... If you're going to try and force yourself to say something all emotional and crud, save it. I don't want to hear it from you. Oh, that's real swell. If it looked like you and Joshua were finally breaking up, then I was going to use this chance to take him from you. If only I was so lucky. Actually, you want to come through the gate the same time as me, Joshua? Maybe we'll re reappear in the same place if we do. I am on to you, Missy. Hands off. Um, do you guys really have to fight this way right to the very end? You stay out of this! Ah, oh, sorry. Dang, man. This is such a pathetic spectacle. Huh. But you know something? It was fun being here with you, Estelle. In a way. Yeah, I could say that too. In a way. Don't overdo it with that business of yours, you hear? Your line of work's like ours. You're out of luck if you work yourself sick. Heh, <laughs> right back at you. But you can go causing trouble for yourself all you like. Just don't go getting hurt and causing any for Joshua. Ah. <sighs> I don't think I've ever met two people who hate each other this much who are so similar. Anyway, guess I should actually get going now. I'll be sure to write, Joshua. Thanks, can't wait to hear from you. Sounds like you two are going to have your work cut out for you. Take care, alright. <laughs> Thanks. May the goddess's light shine upon you and your ship. Can't ask for better from a sister. Thanks. Alright, later. You okay, Ren? You've been kind of quiet for a while now. Why... Why is everyone smiling? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you're all saying goodbye. For all you know, you might never get to see each other again. So why do you all look so happy? Oh... Everyone keeps saying they're sad to see one another go. Why don't you all just stay here then? As long as the garden's here, everyone can stay and turn this place into whatever they want it to be. We can laugh and have fun tea parties forever and ever and ever. So why? I get it now. It hurts you to think that you might never see them again, doesn't it? Joshua. It hurts that no matter how much you care about someone, no matter how much you want to be with them, you might never see them again. Is that it? Wait. N no of course not. That's not even possible. Even when I heard that Lo was dead, that didn't hurt one bit. I was sad, but it didn't hurt. That's because that's not the same. 
The reason it didn't hurt is because you were able to accept Lo's death. You knew that there was no chance you'd ever be able to see him again, and that was why you were able to grieve. But this is a case of knowing that you could meet the people you care about, but at the same time, maybe you can't. In some ways, that's even more painful than never being able to see someone ever again. No, you're wrong. That's why you... You're wrong, 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 wrong! Should I tell you, Ren? Tell you why everyone was able to smile as they said goodbye to us all? I don't want to know. I don't need to know. Well, too bad. I'm going to tell you anyway. It's because no matter how much you love someone, or how much you hate someone, eventually, you'll end up having to part from them. That goes for everyone. No exceptions. Everyone? Yep. Even me and Joshua. Even if we get married, have kids, and live out the rest of our days happily together, eventually one of us is going to die and leave the other one behind. We can't rule out the possibility that one or both of us might lose our lives in an accident. We could even fall out of love someday. Every day you spend with someone could turn out to be the last, and that's a reality all of us have to face up to and fight every day. Every day? And that's why we have to smile. When everyone smiles, we don't have to worry about the sad stuff. And we can be positive together. We know we're not alone, and that everyone else feels the same way we do. And best of all, it fills us with excitement at the thought of when and how we might see each other next. So we put on our bravest face and promise to meet again, whether it comes true or not, and we go back to our lives and keep on going. That's how it is for everyone, I think. It's really everyone? Everyone. You too, so... Will you try and smile with us? Me? Maybe I can't promise we can be together forever. But I can tell you that we really, really love you. That's why I want to watch over you, at least until you become a grown-up. If that's what you want too, then I'll do what I can to be by your side no matter what. I... I... Then when you grow up, maybe you'll decide you want to do something with your life that means we have to part ways. And if that happens, that's okay. But if it does, then we'll part ways with a big smile. How does that sound? Good? <laughs> I... Um don't need to decide what you want to do now. The choice is yours to make. We've already made up our minds what we want to do. We want to be your family, Ren. M my Like Joshua said, we can't force you. If you don't want to be with us, that's fine. Dad's given his okay. All that's left is yours. Enough! Enough! Ren? If that's what you want, then I'm gonna run and run and run. I'm gonna run so fast you'll never be able to catch me. So, so... We're ready for that. You can keep running for as long as it takes to make up your mind one way or the other. <laughs> but just so you know, I'm really bad at knowing when to call it quits. You might be really good at playing hide-and-seek, but no hiding place can stay undiscovered forever! <laughs> I hate you. I hate you both! But... But I love you both just as much. <laughs> we finally got to tell her. We finally got to tell her how we feel. Yeah, we did. Joshua. Joshua. You did great, Estelle. Still, the hardest part's still yet to come. Yeah. 
You're right. <laughs> Sorry for making you wait through that, guys. But now I think it's time we went to. Don't sweat it. You're gonna get back to chasing her the second you get out of here, right? Good luck. Don't give in. And I'm sure it'll work out. May the goddess's blessing be with all three of you. I'll be looking forward to the next time we meet. And I'll be praying that the three of you will all be together when that time comes. We will. I'll make it happen. Till next time. Those two really are something special. Yeah, you're telling me. Just looking at those two, I can't help but feel that maybe Rufina's dream isn't so impossible after all. Me too. Which means all the more that we'll need to get to work on making it a reality. I'm afraid this place likely doesn't have much time left. I think you should leave before it's too late. Oh, right. Actually... Huh? Something's wrong? I just can't help but feel like we've forgotten something. Hey! Oops, oh my, oh. <laughs> You're awful! Was giving me that half-hearted explanation and then vanishing the best you could do? I I'm sorry, I did have a lot to do at the time. Still, that explanation was enough to allow you to reach here, wasn't it? Uh, eventually, but I had a heck of a time getting here. I'm no good with directions. I had groups of angels chasing after me, chariots trying to run me over. Uh, anyway, what's with all the shaking? Oh, right. So apparently this castle's going to vanish soon. That door up there will let you return to our world, so go ahead and run on through it. But why are you only telling me this now? I'm out of here. By all means. Thank you for your help. Well, Hey, you played an important part in making it through all this. When we get out of here, we'll be enemies again, but there's no harm in acknowledging that. Just don't go causing too much trouble out there so that we don't have to go after you, alright? <laughs> worry about yourselves first. Next time we meet, I'll be a changed man. Higher ranking and much, much stronger. You mark my words. <laughs> now please hurry. I doubt this castle has more than a few more minutes before it disappears. Got it. What will happen to you after that, by the way? I imagine I will return to my lengthy slumber in the garden, in the same state I was before the Lord of Phantasma first appeared, and I will remain that way until this land of Phantasma eventually finishes disappearing. After that, I will finally be free from the duty which keeps me here. Really. Thanks for everything. I don't know if words can express how grateful we are. May your dreams be pleasant indeed. <laughs> Thank you very much. After you've stepped through the gate, I will disable the Recluse Cube's functionality. Its power will never return again, so deal with it however you see fit. Understood. I know exactly who's going to be getting it. You're thinking of giving it to the Professor? You honestly think she'll let all of this slide if we don't? Especially after her daughter got caught up in it, she's gonna be unbearable. Good point. Well then, Reese, time for us to go. Indeed. Would you like to hold hands? What? <laughs> I was only joking, of course. I do want to step through together. Just like together, we'll make Rufina's dream come true. Heh. <laughs> yeah. I'm counting on you, partner. Always.
Septium Church Grouchra to operate the Special Ops Airship, Markaba No. 1. I think I have a rough idea of the situation now. We have been able to confirm the safety of the six you mentioned. Prince Olivert Rhys Anar, Mueller Vander, Zin Vathek, Giuseppe Capua, Estelle and Joshua Bright. All of them have safely returned to our world. Really? That's a relief. I was able to confirm the safety of the ones who ended up in La Belle myself. It was just those six I was concerned about. Well, and the two from Ouroboros. But I'm not sure either of us have any chance of checking up on those two. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Still, this certainly wasn't what I was expecting to happen when I gave you that mission. The Oriole left us a nasty little present, didn't it? That's one way of putting it. Either way, I'll give you my full report as soon as I'm back. Wrapping things up on my end seems like it'll take a little while longer, but hopefully not too long. I'm looking forward to it. You know, you've changed since I last spoke to you. I'm quite surprised. Huh? The Kevin I know wouldn't care to know whether those he'd been involved with were safe or not. Or rather, he'd try and suppress those concerns. I can only imagine a lot must have happened in this phantasma. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. I'll feel, fill you in on all of it once I get back, like I said. I've got something I want to tell you on a personal level too. Oh, colour me curious. Regardless, I'm glad you two return safely. And perhaps we should all go and get some drinks together after you return. <laughs> I'd be happy to. Oh yeah, I've actually got something I want to ask. Huh? Um, well. Is it possible for a Dominion to change the title after choosing one? Or what's this now? I just... I found something other than hunting heretics I want to do, you see. I still intend to fulfill my duties as a Dominion to the fullest, don't worry about that, just... <laughs> C Commander? Um, so that's a no, probably? <laughs> A Dominion wanting to change their title, eh? In the thousand years the Grauschritter has existed, that's not something that has happened often. But it's not entirely unprecedented either. Then... <laughs> Go ahead and think up something fitting for yourself before we next meet. If you fail to, I'll give you a new one myself as punishment, and trust me, you won't like it. If I'd known you were going to say that, I would have thought of something before asking. Well, I guess I'd better get to work on thinking up something cool. What do you think of Blue Shooting Star? Or maybe Black Arrow? Wh what's with the awkward silence? Father Kevin, as your former instructor, allow to me to give you one piece of heartfelt advice. Sure? Unless you want to live the rest of your life in abject shame. Then for the love of Adios, get Reese to help you choose. Don't even think of picking alone. Thank you for staying with the trails in the sky until the very end. While the story has told all it has to tell, there are still plenty more adventures to be discovered across the Zumerian continent. Oh yeah, let's save our clear data. Not that I would know what we can even do with it, unless we wanted to play again. So is that it? Is that the very end? That's it! Back to title screen! Uh, well, thank you very much everybody who is supporting the channel and has been watching these videos, and even the new subscribers who are coming along and wanted to watch some of my earlier videos, which are probably 
not as good as my future ones. I'm hoping I'm going to be improving. I'd also just, you know, I, I know a developer's never going to see this, but I'd just love to thank them for all of the work that they've put into this game and all of the people who have worked on it uh, and the series as a whole. Um, you know, the translations are a little shaky sometimes, and I've even heard some people say that uh, the third Trails in the Sky game is one that doesn't really have to be played. It's not super important for the overall story, but I just have to disagree. Absolutely disagree. This has been an amazing experience. The first two and the third one has just kind of wrapped up the LaBerl arc really nicely. It's been an, an amazing journey, and I'm looking forward to continuing it with the Crossbell Saga, which I hope you'll all be joining in with me to watch. Um, there's going to be one more video for Trails in the Third coming out. Um, yes, I know, I said this was going to be the last video in the finale, and it kind of is. The last video is just going to be um, showing everybody doing the S-Crafts. Um, just to kind of wrap up the LaBerl arc before we move on to the Crossbell arc. So, I hope you'll enjoy that one and you'll watch it. And then I will see you all on the first episode for the Crossbell Saga. Bye-bye for now.